Ryan Matthews, Fresno State running back. Matthews gets loose again. First, we put Ryan through our acceleration test. Our sensors reveal that Ryan hit 16 miles an hour in only seven yards. That acceleration means from a single back formation on an off tackle run, Ryan can hit the hole at top speed. I got speed, now I can break the long runs. But running backs rarely chart a straight course on the field. On the bounce. They always have to navigate a sea of defenders. Touchdown! To test Ryan's agility, we created the Sports Science Slalom. What we want to see is your change of direction. Three, two, one. It looks like you're surfing. Actually, Ryan cuts at angles up to 38 degrees, sharper angles than world champion surfer Kelly Slater. And on every cut, Ryan's legs generate 760 pounds of force. When you're down on a goal line, you can go through a pile or... You can go over. You can go over it. Oh. We're going to see how high up and over you can go. Ryan's measured vertical leap is 36 inches. Let's see what happens when we give him a little more room for takeoff. We got to go up to five feet on this. He clears four and five foot hurdles with ease. <laughs> we got to go higher, man. The question is, how much higher can he sky? He is essentially jumping over me. This is amazing. This is big. Three, two, one, go. Pressing down with over 1,400 pounds of force, Ryan clears this five foot, eight inch hurdle. That's the same height as Walter Payton's legendary 1984 touchdown dive. Speed, agility, and crazy hops. Looks like Ryan Matthews is going to have a leg up in the NFL. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brankus.